the humble dishwasher, a mainstay for the American suburban family, the unsung hero of kitchen cleaning and a constant point of contention in our household. Even though we had installed a state-of-the-art indicator on the front of our dishwasher, our ability to use this device was inconsistent at best, so clearly we needed was an over-engineered solution to autonomously determine if the dishes were washed, which is a perfect afternoon project. So from an unrelated project, I had some Halifax sensors lying around, and these little guys are really cool since they are composed of fancy semiconductors that react to magnetic fields. It's not uncommon for these devices to be used as timing sensors for modern automobiles, which means that they show up in things like tachyometers, crankshaft position sensors, and that also means that they're pretty hardy and they are super cheap. So, with a few minutes of breadboarding, I had connected both a simple LCD screen and the Hall effect sensor to an Arduino Uno, and with some code stolen, or um, I mean, with some code borrowed from the internet, uh, the project was up and running. And in all honesty, I am on a really, really bad programmer. So I really love uh, the Arduino because of the huge amount of crowdsourcing information that's available. And, you know, special thanks to all the sources that I'll link in the description below, but also to the general Arduino community that has made a lot of uh, these kinds of projects possible for me. So the basic principle of this system was to count the number of times that a magnet passed by the Hall effect sensor and to use this as a means to quantify how well uh, the dishes were washed. <laughs> Because inside the dishwasher, there's all these spinning things that spray water at the dishes. Uh, so by mounting a magnet on one of the spinning things, um, and then mounting the halifactor on the inside of the dishwasher, we could measure how many times the spinning thing revolved uh, inside the dishwasher, and then use that number to calibrate uh, how many spins are required in order for the dishwasher to finish its cycle. But since Arduinos are not supposed to be machine washable, surprising I know, uh, I needed to separate the Hall effect sensor from the actual microcontroller. So using some twisted pair from a Cat5 cable, I created a new cable with three wires. And since the actual semiconductor on the circuit board for the Hall effect sensor appeared to be potted in epoxy, I figured I could just remove it from the circuit board, solder it onto the and solder it onto the other end of the new cable. Uh, then I just connected the other end of the two meter long cable to the original sensor board. Uh, and here is a side by side of the original sensor and the new extended one and indeed with the added length of the wire it still appeared to work just fine so all that was left to do uh, was to mount the Arduino on a piece of wood to get it off the kitchen counter attach the sensor to a suction cup that was stuck on the top of the dishwasher and add the magnets to the spinning spare inside the dishwasher to make sure that the spinner stayed balanced uh, we ended up adding two magnets one to each side of the spare this meant that two signals would be received every time the spinner revolved surprisingly this worked rather well for something that was constructed in under an hour for the first test run, the number on the LCD screen steadily climbed, counting every rotation of the spinner twice, because remember, two magnets. And when the dishes were finally clean, I was surprised to find that the spinner revolved over 1,500 times during the washing cycle, uh, and we didn't even complete the full cycle. So. With this new data in hand, there were some obvious improvements to make. For one, the LCD screen uh, being on all the time was not preferable. Secondly, because everything was breadboarded, there was some instability with the screen display. So with some quick modifications to the code, the device could be configured to turn off the screen after a few minutes of inactivity. But once some cleanliness threshold was met, the screen would stay on and say that the dishes were clean. Also, I added this handy little loading bar to help judge how far along the dish uh, washing cycle was uh, if it got stopped midway. And then finally, by connecting an I2C uh, module to the LCDC screen with this homemade bus, I could eliminate a lot of the errant wiring uh, and simplify this whole assembly. I also switched out the Uno for a Nano with a breakout shield because this project really didn't need the extra processing power the Uno offers. So after a few weeks of testing, this new system has been working swimmingly. By default, the screen turns off and the Arduino stays in, the, in an idle state. But when someone starts the dishes, starts the dishwasher and the internal spinner starts turning, the Arduino uh, wakes up and starts counting the cycles. And if the dishwasher reaches a threshold of 3,500 spins, which is what we sort of experimentally determined was the point at which they were washed, um, the screen will stay on and inform the family that the dishes are clean. And if the dishwasher is accidentally stopped before then, the screen will go off, indicating the dishes still need to be washed. Um, and then we just reset the system by uh, hitting the reset button on the Arduino once the dishwasher is empty. So is it needlessly complicated? Maybe but it has been working really well, 
And, you know, honestly, for the next project, maybe we will circle back around to that challenge of a machine-washable Arduino. Such a device, I don't know, could come in handy in the future.